Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and you happen to be looking at the little bathroom across the hall from my office. I put the drone over there so we wouldn't have background noise as I, uh, as I do this recording. Uh, several months ago, uh, when the waypoints came out, I created a video and uh, on how to do a, a, a waypoints flight plan. Well, they've changed the menus and everything since then. And I had a visitor to my channel ask if I could create a, a video on doing waypoints, but on setting, uh, knowing how to set the right angle of the gimbal to get the camera to look uh, like where where you want it to. Well, I don't know if there's any way to do that, but we're going to set up, we're going to run a little test here and also a tutorial on how to set waypoints. So uh, that's what this is for, and uh, we'll get started. And we'll go to the park after after we finish and fly it out. All right, so we go over to the guy over here on the left with the little eyeballs and the ears, and we touch him, and we have to agree if we're going to play with the toy. Now we come down to the lower right-hand corner, we click on waypoints, and we don't want to, we don't... <laughs> We don't want to get the one that I just did to practice with. We're going to go. We're going to start a new one. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to go to my favorite park, which is right up there. And I think we can probably make our waypoints here. Okay. Now, first of all, up at the very top, there's a menu, and we'll we'll uh, we'll go there first, and we're going to. Hit the settings icon and do the routes, the route settings. Okay, we want it to be polyline, which means that the drone is going to, when it gets to a waypoint, it'll turn. Uh, return to home is a good one, but we're just going to let it hover. Okay, down there. Okay, and everything else we're going to leave like it was, except the speed. We want to make it, we want to get it done fast, so we're going to have it go about that fast. Now we can click on the X. And we can begin, <clears throat> excuse me, we can begin putting our waypoints out. So we're going to set a waypoint over here. I, uh, I'm going to be sitting in this little spot uh, where the trees are. And so we're going to set a waypoint right over here and uh, just by tapping on the screen. Then we're going to hit it one more time. Now we have some menus popping up at the top and at the bottom. And the bottom one says the altitude's 164 feet, but we don't want it to go that high. So we're going to bring it down to about 50 feet, roughly. Doesn't have to be exact, okay? Our cruising speed in that menu, we're not going to mess with. The flying direction, yeah, we're going to hit that, and we're going to hit custom. And then we're going to move our, uh, our arrow to uh, go across in front of me, but we don't want to hit those trees, okay? So we're going to have it go there, and uh, we're going to leave the, kim the gimbal at zero. And our camera action, this is where we're going to start recording. All right, so we hit record, and uh, we're not going to go to point of interest yet, but we will in a while. So we're going to hit OK. All right, our, our gimbal angle is zero, and you get a whole bunch of sky when you, when you leave it like that. But uh, uh, I usually set mine to about minus three degrees. And we're going to use increments of three degrees at first. Uh, at, the more you the more you angle your gimbal down, the more the tangent and the cotangent, all that junk, uh, makes it look even more steeper. So <laughs> we're going to go. I didn't do too well in whatever that math course was. Anyway, over here we're going to set a waypoint to the left of where I'm sitting, and uh, we'll tap right there. Okay. And I think we're going to miss the trees there, as you can see by the line. But we want it to, we want to change some things. We want it to be at 50 feet like the other one. And it doesn't have to be exact. Okay. Cruising speed we don't mess with. But the flying direction, we want it to go back the other way. So we go to custom. And then we'll go, I always go backwards. There we go. We're going to go right across over to that direction. Now the gimbal angle, we're going to set it at minus three. By the way, I'm changing this by by uh, moving my finger on the screen. I forgot to mention that. Okay, so <laughs> so what to get it to go uh, minus three, I'm going to drag down on the screen with my finger or my stylus, and uh, then camera action none, point of interest none. We're finished with that point. Okay, wrong menu. Click OK. All right. <clears throat> now we want it to go across in front of us, so we're going to go. We're going to put a waypoint here, and we want. It, we're going to tap it again, and we're going to move our stylus down the screen to get it down to 50 
50 feet or so. Okay, Route, flying direction we're going to change because we want it to go back. Hit custom direction. And then, uh, yep, yeah, always go the wrong way, but that's okay. So we're going to have it point that direction. And gimbal action, uh, we, did, we did minus 3. This one's going to be minus 6. So we're going to drag down on the screen another 3 degrees. Whoops, there we go. Okay, no more camera action. We got that one done. Okay. Now we're going to come back over to next to 2, and we're going to tap it twice, or tap it again. Bring it down to 50 feet. And then we're our route direction, we're going to make it go back the other direction. So we hit custom, and bring it back this way. And now the camera angle, did we do 6 last time? Okay, so that was 0 three six yeah so this is going to be nine so we're going to drag down to get it down to nine and that's all we do on that one okay now we're going to come over here <clears throat> and tap uh, number five again and we're going to bring it down to 50 feet that was a little overkill there the route direction we're going to have it go back the other way <clears throat> okay and the gimbal pitch i think is going to be minus 12 this time And that's all we do on that one. We go over here, we do another one, and tap it again, and get it down to 50 feet. Okay, and then uh, route direction, we're going to come back towards the other guy. Oh, we've got to do custom. Forgot about that. Okay, we got it back to. Oh, well, we can move that guy. We'll just move him over here where we want him right about there okay I think we were through with six but let's double check we got oh no we got route direction now we're going to do the pitch angle <sighs> was that uh, okay so let me think here we got zero three six nine twelve this has got to be fifteen okay and we're through with that one now we'll go to seven Get it down to 50 feet and route direction hmm let's do this let's have seven go go that way and um, gimbal pitch we'll make that 30 just for fun And camera action none, so we're done. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's do a waypoint. All right. So up here at the top, we hit on the little star. We're going to make me the waypoint. All right. So we got that done. Now we're going to go back to make, I'm, I'm sorry, point of interest. This is a point of interest I just created. Now we're going to go over to click up at the top and do waypoints again. And we're going to put one right, uh, right there. Okay, and we tap it again, get it at 50 feet. Okay, that's good. And uh, the route direction and all of that stuff we're not going to mess with. We're going to go clear to the end and tell them to point at, wait, point at the waypoint. Okay, and then we have to tap on waypoint one or it won't do it. Okay, and I think we got that one done. Now we're going to bring him home. So we're going to have him come over here by the, the takeoff place. Tap again. And bring him down to 50 feet. And um, that, I think that's all we're going to do. And then we're just going to, he's going to hover there. So we'll click on OK. And um, I think we're ready to take this baby to oh oh wait a minute no nope. we got to tap on him and do the point of interest one two they all have to point at the port at our point of interest now we got it okay we're done we'll be at the park and play it for see if it plays and we'll know from this video what a good angle is uh when setting uh when setting your gimbal angle all right so we'll see you at the park oh wait wait
oh, don't go away. We got to save this. So it's been saved. Okay. Now we'll go into our task library. And there's the one we just did. And uh, so we're going to rename it. We're going to click on the little uh, pencil thing there. And we're going to say um, next. We'll just call it next because I'm not real creative. N-E-X-T. And save it. Okay, now when we close this and then we come back in, go to task library. There he is right at the top. Okay, we'll see you at the park. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this video is already too long. Uh, we'll just close it off here and uh, be watching for the next video when I come home from the park tomorrow. All right. Well, thank you for watching and God bless.